Hello and welcome to Nice Work, pal. We're here at the Beast Castle. And behind the camera, as always, is my prisoner, Dawn. Say hello, Dawn. Hello, Dawn. <laughs> We're going to have dinner at Be Our Guest. So come join us for dinner. That is not a request. So be our guest. It is a prefix menu. There's gonna be a lot of food. It's gonna be so good. We're gonna try the gray stuff too. Yeah, absolutely. I'm starving. Let's, Let's go, go in. So how unfortunate is it that they call it the Beast's Castle? Like he's gonna eventually turn into the prince and then for the rest of his life, he's gotta hear the Beast's Castle. It's gonna remind him of that one time he was rude to somebody and took people prisoners. He's never going to live it down. So here inside the Beast's Castle, there are three distinct dining areas. There's the dance hall right here in the center where Beauty and the Beast dance the night away right before she leaves them. Where they fell uh, in love. Yeah. And uh, there's also the library, which is curtained off tonight. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to take a look in there or not, but that is one of the rooms. And then last but not least, is the west wing it is dark and mysterious and there's a rose with petals withering away it's very scary i'm glad we're eating out here in the in the ballroom all right so the menu at beauty and the beast is a three course prefix menu so you get to choose an appetizer an entree and a dessert um, so there's uh, several appetizers to choose from there's some hot things like uh, corn bisque and french onion soup there's also a salad and some um, interesting things like escargot. Yum. Yeah. The entrees are uh, fairly focused on meat. There's a short rib beef bourguignon. There's a tenderloin. There's a chicken. Uh, the grilled filet looks pretty good. Yeah, everything looks good. Yeah, there's one fish choice for those who want their seafood. Um, there's a couple enhancements and a couple of desserts. We get to choose one of the two dessert choices. Well, one is a trio. And the, and other, the one, other one is... A cake with lemon curd. Looks delicious. Now, you don't normally find a lot of drinks in the Magic Kingdom. The only place you do is a couple of sit-down restaurants like this one. Uh, because of that, you can get some champagnes and wines, even a nice selection of beer and cider. I think, I think I'm going to get a beer tonight. Excellent. This is French bread, but there's some great butter with, with garlic and herbs on it, too, to go with it. It looks delicious. Mm. Hello, friends. You probably invite you to be our guest. Now we are excited. dark and scary west wing. I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. It's forbidden. There's the picture of the prince on the wall, all scratched up. The beast cannot have nice things. Ooh. Hopefully the beast doesn't come and see us looking at the magical rose. If all those petals fall off, he's stuck as the beast. He has to serve people dinner for the rest of his life. Alright, so this is one of the other dining areas. This is the, I believe, kind of like the library, although I don't see any books. But they do have that lovely Beauty and the Beast statue revolving in the center. It's a very nice room. There's also lots of great paintings of the Beauty and the Beast. Belle. And what's his name? At least I knew her name. All right, Don, this is in the spirit of adventurousness. Yes. Escargot. I don't think I've ever actually eaten escargot. Gonna try it now. I'm gonna try it now. It's drowning in garlic and herbs and stuff, so I'm hoping it's delicious. So it's baked in a garlic herb butter, and it comes with a baguette. It smells delicious. It is delicious. Oh my goodness, it kind of adds like a, 
I don't know, almost like a scallop taste to it. Ah. Yeah, it's very good. And Dawn, you let me, you're letting me taste your corn chowder, which looks good. It is a sweet corn bisque. Mm. Corn, madeleine, tomato, and chai. It's delicious. It is delicious. The, the corn flavor is incredible. It's very strong. Very prominent, yeah. yeah. It's delicious, though. All right. I fear this more than the ghost of Christmas future. This is the uh, tuna tartare. One of our dining guests ordered this as an appetizer, and this is super adventurous for me. It's, uh, it comes with uh, Dijonese, chopped egg, and a black olive oil. Hey. Not that's bad. not bad. That's really good. Super mild, not fishy at all. Just great flavor. It's almost almost tastes like a, a rare beef. Like it's really good. So Dawn, it appears there's something here that wasn't there before. Yes. <laughs> this is the beef bourguignon. I got a little potato with it too out here. It's the short rib beef bourguignon. It comes with uh, smoked bacon, potatoes, and a red wine jus. It is delicious. It is amazing. So good. It looks good. It is so delicious. I'm going to try yours next. So, John, you got the filet mignon, and thank you for letting me try it. I hear it's the beast's favorite. It is. It's the grilled filet mignon. It's got smashed potatoes, Harcox verts. I don't know what that is. I think it's a carrot. And some sauce au poire. So the good news is, is that it's amazing and delicious. The bad news is, is it's better than mine. Aww. I'll let you have some. Thanks. All right, so once again, I have borrowed from my dinner guests' plate to try their, their dinner, the steak frites, which is a dinner special for tonight. I don't remember what the sauce was, though. But it is amazing. It's almost mustardy. Oh. But it's spicy too. And the fries? Excellent. And the steak is perfect. It is delicious. All right, we're going to start dessert. I got the vanilla cake with lemon curd. Got a little bit here to try with a raspberry to boot. It is amazing. Nice and airy. Light flavor. That is a nice light cake. Yeah. yeah if, you're, if you feel like you're going to be full, this is probably the way to go. Although, I'm looking forward to yours. It has the great stuff. All right, I'll let you try it. So the dessert trio starts with a macaron with, with some raspberry filling. That looks great. It is, again, another light dessert. Those macarons are so so light and soft that you can just you can bite through them without like I thought this was going to smash apart yeah but and then the raspberry filling is so good this is delicious so we were a little concerned because the menu said chocolate tart but there is great stuff on the menu and the chocolate tart houses lots of great stuff love the great stuff and it's delicious. Mm. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. And the third item on the trio is the dark chocolate ganache. Truffle. Love dark chocolate. Mm. Wow. I'm sure it's nice and rich. It is bursting with chocolate flavor. It is amazing. There's almost like a, a hint of raspberry behind it, too. This is really good. So Be Our Guest was uh, pretty amazing. I really liked it. I, I, I have to say, I thought I was going to come out here and say it was an overpriced meal. It was expensive. It's $70 a person, and, but it's a, it's a prefix meal. We got appetizer, entree, dessert. It was, and every single one of them was fantastic. Now, the highlights. Our appetizers were so creative and delicious. Escargot, never thought I'd love that. That was delicious. The entrees, all of them were great. Everybody loved their food. The desserts, 
I'll say the trio is the way to go. Yeah, I like the trio better than the vanilla cake. Yeah, the vanilla cake was kind of like super light and not that special to me. Like, could have used more of that uh, that lemon sauce to go with the vanilla cake. A little bit more. Yeah. yeah. But the, the trio was fantastic and had the gray stuff. You know you came for the gray stuff, so. Not a huge fan of the gray stuff, but it's good. It's good. Not my it's thing. It's not what the dishes said. <laughs> but all in all, a remarkably, a remarkably great meal. Uh, really, really good quality food. My steak was so tender. Yeah. <laughs> and my dinner was also amazing, only second to yours. That's true. Yours was good, it but was mine good. was better. Yeah. Uh, so filet mignon, if, if you're looking for a recommendation. So yeah, don't pass this by just because it looks a little pricey. I mean, all of the meals here in Disney can be a little pricey sometimes. There are discounts available for DVC members and annual pass holders. Service here also super amazing. I love all the different rooms in there. The West Wing is definitely like the most interesting room. Like uh, with, with the, the flower in the window and, and the picture all shredded by the beast who is so angry sometimes. But uh, I, it's very dark. So I don't know if that's uh, I don't know if that's the best place to eat. I liked the room we were in. We had the, the main ballroom. Yeah, that was nice. And that, that oh, is, the library was nice, too. The library is nice, too. It has all of these great pictures uh, of scenes of your favorite Beauty and the Beast characters. So there's a lot to look at in there, even if it isn't, like, necessarily reminiscent of the movie. Uh, it's, it's got a lot to look at. I don't think it can go wrong in there, really. And, no. of course, they'll let you go look around. Yeah. Uh, if I have one complaint, this place used to have a photo opportunity with the Beast, and it did not. Yeah, that was a little bit disappointing. But he did come out a few times and walk around the room. Yeah. He didn't go table to table. He just kind of, like, walked through the room, the yeah. center. But with that attitude, he's never going to become human again. So <laughs> that's, uh, that's okay with me. His food is great. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that'll do it for us for today. Dawn, how did I do today? Nice work, pal. Be our guest, be our guest. Put my wallet to the test. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be sad too if I was like this all day. <laughs> Eating the heat out in the sun. Sorry, dude. Marie, the baguettes. <laughs> I don't know how to eat that scargo. With this, oh, with this little baby fork they gave me. 